Taliban leaders cancelled a meeting with U.S. officials only a few hours after telling the media they were willing to hold face-to-face -face talks in Qatar in the coming days. And the reason is differences over inviting the Afghan government delegation to join the talks. A few days ago, the Taliban rejected an offer to meet Afghan government representatives in Saudi Arabia, preferring instead to hold talks with U.S. Special Envoy Zalmay Khalil Zad. The United States and Taliban both have some wild cards. Taliban also try to play chessboard in politics. They don't want to open up very soon. They want to give little and take a lot. The Afghan government says it's ready to meet the Taliban anytime, anywhere. But for the talks to succeed, Afghanistan needs help from neighboring Pakistan. The U.S. has repeatedly accused Islamabad of providing safe haven for Taliban leaders. Accusations dismissed by the Pakistani government. Pakistan being the immediate neighbor of Afghanistan is interested that any development in Afghanistan leads to peace and stability of the region. Currently, efforts are underway towards a political settlement in Afghanistan. Hence, the withdrawal of U.S. troops should be part of a peace process with a view to ensure that there is no power vacuum in Afghanistan. Despite huge international aid and a military campaign led by the U.S., war is far from over and the Taliban is far from defeated. Reports the Trump administration might be withdrawing troops in the coming months triggered panic among Afghan officials. But the U.S. isn't the sole player in the region. The Russians invited the Taliban and members of the Kabul-based Afghan Peace Council for talks last year. Saudi Arabia and the UAE took part in the last round of talks in December. Iran has also been active over the last few years, building bridges with the Taliban and the government. Iran says its goal is to ensure an Afghan-led peace deal. The talks gained momentum last year, but it's unclear if all the parties are willing to make concessions and agree on a unity government. Hashem al-Bara al-Jazeera.